There's ghost busting, and then there's ghost busting channeled through the manic mind of the legendary Shinji Mikami. In Ghostwire Tokyo, you'll deal with sinister spirits, ghost children, and cat shopkeepers, all while brandishing a range of spectacular spells to purge the streets of eerie enemies. From our latest Ghostwire Tokyo demo, the gameplay is shaping up to be a beautiful cocktail of the old world occult and urban neon. In case you need a recap, this Tango Gameworks title is set in Tokyo, where a strange fog has caused the city's population to vanish, and a bunch of ill-intentioned spirits called visitors have replaced them. Luckily, this catastrophe has coincided with Hiro Akito becoming fused with a veteran ghost hunter and developing supernatural powers. These new talents allow him to fight the visitors and collect up the lost spirits with some very dramatic looking hand gestures. Think Gandalf doing Kung Fu, all glowing strands and technicolor bursts of light. One power, ethereal weaving, lets you pull the core of a ghost out like a tumor. Another, spectral vision, allows you to follow the tracks of suspicious characters like a demonic detective. You can utilize stealth to creep your way up towards visitors, or you can just go with a full-on frontal assault with your spells. Benign lost spirits float around the air like a blue cloud, and can be trapped safely inside paper effigies, and then channeled into hacked phone boxes to increase your powers. During the gameplay demo, Akito also got a fancy looking bow, which immediately came in handy when he needed to dissolve a magical barrier that trapped him in a building by finding and shooting its source. What could have been a fairly tedious game of Hunt for the Glowing Rock turned into a fever dream as the barrier caused the building to shift and morph, walls bubbling with black slime, strange murals appearing and gravity losing its grip, so the walls became the floors. From a Spectre's perspective, it looked challenging to navigate, but was also some of the most visually exciting level design that we've seen in a long while. We also got a sense of the different ways that you can get deliciously distracted while saving Tokyo. There are convenience stores run by otherworldly cat creatures where you can stock up on food, supplies, and, that's right, dog treats. We're sure that this will help us in our personal quest to pet all of the doggos. The design of the enemy visitors drawing inspiration from Japanese folklore is unnerving in the best possible way. There are faceless men with suits and umbrellas, headless school children, women bearing upsettingly large scissors, pint-sized ghosts in yellow raincoats, a woman in a white bridal kimono that does not look as though her big day went very well at all, and many, many more horrors. Between Akito's powers and the bow, it feels as though there will be plenty of special tricks to take this horde of nightmares on, but whatever they happen to be, you can bet it's going to look and feel fantastic. Between the action and futuristic edge to the occult shenanigans, Ghostwire Tokyo is definitely not to be confused with survival horror. It looks more like a ghost train ride that runs on roller coaster tracks. Scream if you want to go faster and hold on tight until March 25th when it releases on PC and PS5. Yeah.